fueling and balance monitor. There's nothing else to do, so pilot monitoring says clear engine two. Pilot plotting says clear engine two, because that's the underlying thing. Now, this is this box is clear. Yep. So now I go secondary, right? Land ASAP amber means land as soon as practical. Yeah. Land ASAP red means land right now. Yeah. You're on fire. Or something very bad is happening. Land ASAP amber is land as soon as practical. Air bleed. Number two pack offline. Number one picked up the load. Clear bleed. Clear bleed. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then elect comes up. Number two generator offline. Number one picked up the load. Clear left, clear left. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now hydraulic should be here and it's not. That's okay. We'll say we already did that one. Status, stop ECAM. I always go up in tone. Status, because it's a question. I'm asking you. Do you want me to continue or do you want me to take a pause? And ultimately, you have to pause because yeah. status, stop ECAM, and consider any pending checklist, any relight. In this case, we could relight it. Yeah. yeah, or any computer reset. reset. Yeah. Okay, let's say we do the relight. If we do the relight and it's successful, ECAM goes away, ECAM action complete. Relight successful, ECAM action complete. Done. Yeah. If we do the relight and it's not successful, likely what's going to happen. Okay, okay, relight procedure complete, it wasn't successful. Okay, continue ECAM. Now we go back to the ECAM and we're going to read it straight through. Status if performance permits, cross bleed open. That's to prepare you for the starting of the engine, yeah. which you already attempted. Yeah. If no engine two damage, consider engine two relight. We did one pack only. If WAI wing in the ice, if wing in the ice on cat three single only in op system cat three dual engine two bleed pack two main galley generator two clear status, clear status. And once you clear it, the way I just did it because I don't know how to work it out. The computer said, okay, it all goes away. E came action. That's what you said. Ecam action complete. Okay. Okay. So now the ecam is done. Ecam action. You can definitely find it in the FCOM. But remember, at the status page, if you're going to relight, there is one time when you can abandon the status page, and that is right here. You will leave it and go do the relight procedure. That's basically it. Okay. Or the reset procedure. One of one of these. Okay. Other than that, we're not going to abandon the status and then go to the FCOM or go to the QRH, unless it's for either a relay or a reset, okay? I'll tell you why in just a second. Now, what, once ECAM action is complete, if this is my yellow system that's operating at 3,000 PSI, and to make to illustrate this even better, let's say this is my reservoir, yellow reservoir, green reservoir, and they both have a pump inside, not in the reservoir, literally, but they have a hydraulic engine driven pump, so if this pump that brings it to 3,000 PSI fails, and this one's still operating at 3,000, I have the differential, the 500 mat, so the PTU will activate. This pump no longer works, but I still have the quantity. Yeah. So the PTU says, hey, there's a pressure difference. I'm gonna take pressure from the yellow, right? And I'm gonna borrow it, and I'm gonna send it to the green, and I'm gonna keep the green system pressurized so I can raise the landing gear over here. So as long as you have fluid, yeah. mm. the PTU works right. because it transfers pressure. Agreed. Yeah. Okay? Just like a cumulative. Yes. It's not a uh, quantity transfer unit. Right. Well, the power transfer You only get this type of explanation in one step prep. But it's a pressure.